This video discusses how I reconditioned a hybrid battery from a 2010 Prius with 172,000 miles after experiencing worsening battery performance for months. There are many videos on YouTube for how to access and remove the Prius hybrid traction battery. I'll link to one below. The Prius hybrid battery is made up of 14 modules, each comprised of two blades which each contain six nickel metal hydride cells in series. In this battery, module one is closest to the negative terminal. It's a good idea to clean any corrosion on the battery connections. All the cells in the Prius hybrid battery are connected in series, with the same current flowing through each cell, but with the voltage across each cell varying somewhat, depending on the internal resistance of each cell. Eventually, the usable capacity of each cell is degraded, and this limits the capacity of the battery as a whole. The method of rejuvenation discussed here involves discharging and recharging each blade multiple times, thus restoring some of its capacity, and equalizing the voltage charge of each blade as closely as possible, also called balancing. If by using the Dr. Prius app or measuring the blade voltages, none of the modules seem very low, it might not be necessary to replace any of the blades, and so one can actually perform this reconditioning with the battery still in the car. I used the IMAX B60 80 watt LiPro balance charger, which allows for some automation of this process. I actually ended up using three chargers to speed things up. The charger comes with some plug-in leads and alligator clips, and I found it helpful to reconfigure them to make the wires longer. Here's how I set up each charger using the arrow and enter buttons to navigate around each menu item and the stop button to switch between menu levels. First, press the stop button to get to the user set program and set the waste time, or the resting time between cycles, to two or three minutes. I turned the safety timer off so the unit wouldn't shut down if the cycles were taking too long. 720 minutes is the maximum length you can set that for. I set the capacity cutoff to on and 7000 milliamp hours for the maximum amount that the charger will charge per cycle. At any point, you can press the stop button to return to the main menu level. Keep pressing the stop button until Program Select Nickel Metal Hydride is displayed, then press Enter. I set the manual charge current to 3 amps. The actual charge current may be limited by the power supply. At this point, if you just want to charge a blade for one cycle, press and hold the Enter button for at least 3 seconds to start charging. Press the right arrow button to move to the discharge parameter screen. I used 6.3 volts as the lower limit voltage for the discharge. Even though I set the maximum discharge current of 2 amps, in reality I never measured this unit discharging more than 6 tenths of an amp, which will take a very long time. More about this later. To immediately start a discharge cycle, press and hold the enter button for at least 3 seconds. Press the right arrow key to move to the nickel metal hydride cycle screen. Press enter, then arrow keys to toggle through the discharge charge or charge discharge cycles and the number of cycles desired. I selected two discharge charge cycles. Again, press and hold the enter button for at least three seconds to initiate a discharge charge sequence. The IMAX B6 Charger's Discharge Charge Cycles allows the automation of the reconditioning process for each blade. However, the limited discharge current of this unit, 6 tenths of an amp, makes the process take a long time. For strong cells, three cycles could take more than 12 hours. To speed things up, I used an automobile halogen headlight bulb, which draws around 3 amps. Whenever the IMAX unit was in discharge mode, I connected the bulb across the blade terminals along with the charger to speed the discharge. This required some active monitoring to ensure 
that the blade voltage did not fall below 6.3 volts, the minimum, minimum voltage that was my target. Note that the discharge milliamp hour reading will be far less than actual now because the unit is not counting the current flowing through the bulb. I ran the discharge charge cycles on each blade until I was satisfied with the improvement, for example, a reading of 5,000 milliamp hours or more per charge cycle. I noted also that the discharge cycles took a lot longer as the battery capacity improved. After you're done, the orange safety interlock needs to be fully latched by pushing the handle to the right after you've inserted it. There is a sensor that will not allow the car to start if this is not done. I was still getting the check hybrid system error message on the dash display. So I unplugged the large white wire in the engine compartment fuse box for 15 minutes and that cleared the error message.